Happy Friday. This is Fridays with Brandon, and today is Fluke Fridays, episode number 76. It's going to be a quick video because I have been slam busy this week and I just haven't had time to make one. So what I was going to do is go over the 831 again. I'm sure you guys are getting sick of this, but I won't have this demo forever. So I wanted to go through a few things. One was just some of my learnings um, with the settings and kind of walk through that. And I'll show you how to download a report using the USB cable and kind of show you what some of these other things will do. So we already talked about both the alignment and the soft foot. There are videos in my channel already. You can always, if you're on a computer, go to the channel and search within my channel. Just search 831. It should come up. Or if you look at my playlist, there's going to be a playlist specifically on all the 831 um, videos. So that's another way to find all the videos related to this product. Okay. So horizontal alignment, soft foot, vertical alignment. We've already talked about that. RFID. So you can put RFID tags on assets or machines that you're going to align. And what can happen is you can buy these tags I believe from any third party, Fluke does not sell them right now. The company that we own, Proof Technic, does have these for sale. You can sell buy RFID tags from them, or I believe you can probably buy them off of Amazon or wherever. I have not tried that yet. I do plan the next time I get this demo to actually get some RFID tags and see if I can show you guys exactly how that will work and figure it out for myself. But they do work, and that's how you can do that. I know that the instrument does identify the tags when you hold it up in front of this RFID tag area because I've held up like credit cards and different things and the tablet buzzes and knows that it's there. You just can't do all the interface because those are kind of protected RFID tags so that won't let you do anything. Okay, new asset, we kind of already talked about that. Camera, we understand that. You just take images. Uh, asset park, kind of shown that as you develop assets. And if you have RFID tags, you never could click on the wrong RFID or the wrong asset ID because it's going to automatically pull it up for you. So that's a kind of cool um, feature if you're going to use RFID tags. Okay, um, gallery. This is going to be your um, couple different reports and your images. Okay screenshots and stuff <clears throat> now over here you see this these two cloud buttons they're grayed out right now i was able to talk to somebody those clouds yeah from what i understand you do not have to pay for a cloud service it's going to be um the software it's not available yet on fluke.com but it will be in the coming weeks and you're going to be able to download that create an account and then once you do that if you're on the same network as the software you're gonna be able to say upload or download and you can create all your assets on the software. And then after it's done, you can just hit upload and if you're connected via Wi-Fi, it'll push it to your PC and it'll be stored locally for you. So those are pretty cool. I haven't been able to play with them, but that's what how you can use those, okay? Um, configure, we already kind of went through that. Now, if you want to make a report, you would go into the alignment um, you know you've got your dimensions your measure and then your resolution so or your results you got to click results and then over here you can save it you can do your report or you can do table so we'll hit table or report I mean and you can see what you're going to include um, in this so you can have the fluke logo or not you can add your own logo um, yeah, your Asset ID number, which I call demo one. If you did soft foot or not, or if you want those results, you can turn those on. So all these things you can turn on or off based on what you want your report to show. You can turn on a signature, which is just a line, and then you can sign off on it if you print the report. Right now, I do have images on. This is how you add images. I don't know if I showed that in a previous video. This is how you add images. You click image, and then you click this, and you can add image. You can look at some of the images I took. So maybe I want to add this one, hit check. And then from here, you can say PDF to generate the report. But if you want to preview it first, you can hit this button. It'll preview the report for you. 
and you can make sure it looks like you want it to before you hit that PDF. So now you have the results. Okay. Scroll down, we should, oh, there's the soft foot. You guys get a chance to see that soft foot, okay. And see the signature that we added there. So we have a report, like, let's say, yes, we like that report. Oh, I wasn't sure what that did. I still don't know what that arrow does, sorry. Um, but if you go back, you're here. Now you can hit this PDF and look, it says generate a report. So now it's on the internal storage and I'm gonna jump over to the PC and show you me pulling this off and how easy it is, okay? So we'll talk to you over there. Okay, so I took the USB cable, plugged it into the USB-C port on the side of the 831, and it is now connected to my computer. I'm gonna open up File Explorer, <clears throat> scroll down, see Fluke 831, internal storage, and you get all of these folders. And uh, so it takes a second, you're not always sure where to click, I've done it before, but it might take me one second. Let's see, download, nope. Um, media might be it. Yes. So you click media, then reports, and here's all of our reports. And you can see which one was today. Oh, I think my thing is off <laughs> based on the dates, but I'm guessing this is the one from today. Let's see. So here's the report. It comes up as a PDF. Sorry. Um, and you scroll down, you can see your measurements. This is the exact same thing we previewed on the 831. So you get your frowny face, okay, smiley faces. There's your soft foot. And the image that we added. Okay. So you you can see that it's very easy to generate a report with the 831 on the device itself. You don't need software. You can literally just do all the report generation on the 831, connect it via your USB cable to your PC, and you have a PDF report ready to rock and roll. I will probably make videos in the future, but it won't be next week. It will be at some point in the future about other ways to use software and make reports. But this is the way I would make reports because it's very simple and I don't have to have any additional devices. And most of the customers I talk with, that's how they would prefer to do it as well because we're not big computer folks. So hope this was helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you have watched at least three videos or more, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for watching and you take care.